so students there is one more important that is importance of ph in everyday life so where very where, where this ph uh, is very important in our day to day day to day life so our plants and animals are ph sensitive yes of course so uh, plants ke na tumba acidic aadre so adu die aago chances irutte and tumba basic aadre kuda for example uh, uh, fertilizers ತುಂಬಾ ಅಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಇರುವಂತದಾಗ ತುಂಬಾ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಇರುವಂತದಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸುಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸರ್ವೈವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಎ ನ್ಯಾರೋ ರೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಕೂಡ ಈವನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ so it will become acidity or uh, acidic or if it become so uh, or it become uh, ba- basic and you all know about the acid rain right so P- when ph of a rain water is less than 5.6 it is called as acid rain so ide tara acid rain uh, increase in the acid rain so it may affect the aquatic life in such as uh, rivers and it is difficult for the uh, organisms to survive there this ph uh, is uh, very helpful in agriculture that is plants require a specific ph range for their healthy growth so to find out the ph required for the healthy growth of a plant you can collect the soil from various places and check the ph in the manner uh, in the sense uh, by using ph paper or uh, any indicator we can check it and based on that we can supply the fertilizers uh, whether it need whether the soil is very acidic or whether the soil is too basic to uh, make it neutralize we can check this uh, by using indicators and you all are very well know about uh, digestive system right how this uh, ph affects the digestive system ph in our digestive system it is very interesting to note that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid right hcl so it helps in digestion of the food without harming the stomach and during indigestion during indigestion the stomach produces too much acid right and this causes the pain and the irritation in the stomach so get to get rid of this pain people use bases right so that is called as antacid what we use what you use uh, baking soda or uh, eno these are all antacids to prevent the acidity in the stomach so one such remedy must have been suggested by you at the beginning of this chapter yes we have discussed right and these acids neutralize the excess acids yen madutte antandre excess acids nalanu acidity irodna kadme madutte so one such example is milk of magnesia milk of magnesia its ph is 10 okay it is basic okay which is a weak base okay so uh, milk of magnesium nothing but magnesium hydroxide mgoh twice so when if you have a, a, a high acidity you can take this magnesium hydroxide also okay so it will neutralize so next is ph change as the cause of tooth decay tooth decay so you know that tooth decay starts when the ph of the mouth is lower than 5.5 ಓಕೆ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗಿಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಟೂತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಟೂತ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಕೆಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಟೂತ್ ಎನಾಮಲ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿ ಪಟೈಟ್ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿ ಪಟೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಫಾಸ್ಫೇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅವರ್ ಎನಾಮಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಟೀತ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಹಾರ್ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ but it will start corrode when the ph in the mouth is below 5.5 nama mouth alli avaga 5.5 ginta ph kadme agutho avaga tooth decay agakke start agutho and uh, you know that the bacteria will be present in the mouth right it produ- produces acids by degradation of sugar and uh, food particles which is remaining in the mouth after eating so uta ella tindid aadmele suppose if any food is remaining so the bacteria will eat that right it will started degrading the sugars uh, sugars which is there in the food that we have eaten so the best way to prevent this is to clean the mouth after eating the food that's why uh, everyone suggests that you have to so brush your teeth two times a day right before going to sleep you have to brush why because if any food is remaining in your mouth it is uh, 
it is degraded by the bacteria and which also gives a you know, bad aroma in the bad smell in your mouth right so uh, using a toothpaste toothpaste it is generally basic alva tuma basic agirutte for cleaning the teeth can neutralize the excess acids and it prevents the tooth decay so this is one of the uh, use of it ph and next one is self defense by animals and plants through uh, chemical warfare so students have you ever been stung by a honey bee yaradru idrinda jeni noda inda kachiskondidira so when you when is when it stings that it hurts so much right and a bee sting leaves an acid which causes the pain and irritation because inadru jeni ula inadru kachide antandre so it will produce an acid so that causes in pain and the irritation so use of an as uh, mild base like baking soda on the stung area which gives the relief yen madutte genadru nona irve agirbodu athwa hani be enadru kachide andaga it leaves the acidic compounds so what you have to do so you have, if you have a baking soda at your home you can apply the area where it stung so it release it become uh, it makes the so reaction neutralize okay and it will give the relief so stinging hair and one more important uh, thing is stinging hair of nettle leaf okay nettle leaf nothing but turike uh, soppu anta karitare kannadalli so when you um, apply that uh, uh, when you apply the leaves or uh, when you come in contact with the leaf so you, you you'll get irritation right the stinging hair of nettle leaves inject methanoic acid causes a burning pain so this is the nettle leaf okay so this nettle leaf it is an uh, uh, herbaceous uh, plant so idana turke soppu antanu karitare kannadalli so which uh, grows in the wild and it leaves the stinging hair so idr mele ella small small hairs irutte when you come in contact with it it will sting to the skin of a humans or animals which causes a painful stings so when touched accidentally so this is due to the methanoic acid produced okay this is the this is due to the methanoic acid secreted by this sting hairs so a traditional remedy is rubbing the area with the leaf of a dock plant okay dock plant and the, that dock plant which often grows beside the nettle beside the area with the leaf beside the nettle in the wild okay so uh, when you apply the dock plant leaves on that it will neutralize this so nettle uh, nettle plant actions or uh, methanoic acid uh, produce madrathala nettle leaf adana ee uh, dock plant to kadime madutte so when you uh, if you go outside or to the gardens or your farm or any trekking so you should be very careful that uh, so ee dock plant matte idella pakka pakkane kelavon sari belkondirutte so you have to look after that next is uh, some naturally occurring acids okay vinegar that is nothing but acetic acid okay vinegar nothing but acetic acid so this is uh, used in the uh, used as a preservative for example to preserve the pickles they will use this vinegar and uh, uh, some fast food like uh, gobi or fried rice they will use this acetic acid for it as a tasting agent next uh, orange contain citric acid orange lemon so these are all contain citric acid next uh, tamarind tamarind is a uh, sour in taste right it contains tartaric acid next tomato is also sour that is contain an acid called as oxalic acid and next sour milk sour milk means curd so you know that curd con- cu- milk is a lacto milk contain lactose and the curd contains lactic acid right next lemon lemon contains citric acid next when an ant stings ant antandre irve enadru kachidre it contains so methanoic acid and also one more acid that is formic acid it is produced by this ant sting and nettle sting it is also it produces methanoic acid students i hope you have understood thank you